what's going on so i think this is going to be a short one um just kind of i don't know talking about what's on my mind so um i made a post i made a post about a little bit of what i'm about to talk about so about three four years ago um when i was using uber as a passenger i wish i still had this picture but i saw a picture of myself you know a couple years after that like two years ago from four years ago where i was like dude i was like 165 pounds um with like this sunken face my eyes just looked like it looked like i was dead inside like it looked like i had no soul um and you know the picture was like from here up but you know at the time i had like track marks all over my arms um you know from shooting up and uh god i wish i still had that picture i really really do but anyway um what i'm going to talk about is since then uh i'm about like i'm over 190 probably like 191 192 uh, 192 pounds um and a fairly low body fat percentage like so basically like since then i've put on like 25 pounds of muscle and um You know, so people's first impression of me is, is much different than it would have been, uh, you know, four years ago. There's still a big part of me that still feels like that junkie. And it's like, I look in the mirror. I mean, first of all, I, I try pretty hard not to, to not to look in the mirror as, as few times as possible. Um, but like when I do, a lot of times it's like, who the fuck is that dude? Like, cause I still, <laughs> in a lot of ways, I still kind of feel like that, you know, that, that junkie that was like 30, almost 30 pounds lighter, um, you know, with fucking needle marks all over my arm. And I don't really know how to, I don't really know how to go about this world as a, as a regular person. I mean, I guess I'm kind of learning, but, uh, damn I don't I don't know I don't know if anybody else can like relate to that but um I just I still carry around um just a lot of a lot of that those insecurities that and that pain that led me to that led me down that road um, you know, all that stuff, like, isn't a hundred percent solved. So, I look, I look very different. But I don't feel very different. And, um, and I think a lot of people kind of have, have trouble understanding that. Or not, not understanding it, but, um. you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, like I said, just kind of what's happens to be what's on my mind at the moment. And, uh, hopefully somebody can relate to this. Um, it's a work in progress. You know, you hear this a lot if you if you go to to a rehab or to um, you know twelve step meetings or anything like that. It's like you have to learn how to live as a normal fucking person again. Um, like just simple, simple things like just normal normal people things like don't come easy. And um, even if you take out the the brain chemistry thing. Um, and just like life skills and people skills when you're not a junkie it's like it's just it's kind of like learning a language from you know that you don't know how to speak at all or at least I don't know that's what it feels like 
for me because I'm, I'm used to just kind of like lurking in the shadows and trying my hardest to have people not notice me because I was always doing shady shit and I was always fucked up I always had drugs on me so like you don't want to you really want to interact with as few when you're living that life it's like you want to interact with the fewest amount of people as possible because or at least it, it, that, that's how I was because um the less the fewer people you interact with like the the less chance there is that you're gonna like talk to the wrong person and get busted and you know like you never know who's a cop you never know who's gonna like I don't know like notice something about you and then or at least that's how I think and and, and maybe that that's probably one of the reasons why I never got arrested because I was like overly paranoid uh, but anyway it's getting a little long um, just trying to churn out the videos so uh, hopefully some of you relate to that hopefully maybe I don't think this one's gonna really help anybody but uh, I'll catch you on the next one